it was always going to happen, guys. It was always going to happen, man. Um, you know, it is what it is. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. That's just the reality of life. That's the reality of life, and that's and that's just how life has to be. Um, it's it's look, it's a sad day for football. It's a it's a sad day for football because this has been one of football's monuments, you know. Um, and it's just like how it was when Maradona went, and how it will be when. Uh, Messi will go when Arnhem will go and when all these other guys when Beckenbauer will even go as well you know the hallmarks of football the, the guys who pretty much built the, the Mount Rushmore of this thing that we called for for football man so it, it's sad you know and I think you know because we because a lot of people thought that we would, we would actually go during the World Cup and how that actually affects Brazil because when you heard the news during the World Cup they're like okay yeah it's it's only a matter of of, of time now this is like a point of, of, of no return and obviously, so again, condolences to Pele's family, you know, his friends. And it's, it's a massive loss because whether you believe Pele is a goat or not, see, I deal it in facts and reality. Bro, you already know that. I've always I've been pushing Maradona is the goat and so forth. And people are saying, well, now it's messy. But facts was facts. Most people, before they even know football, they know Pele. Pele is to football what Michael Jordan is to basketball, what Michael Phelps is to swimming, what um, Muhammad Ali is to boxing, where even if you don't watch this, bro, I, I don't watch swimming. I know who Phel Phelps is, <laughs> you know. The people who don't, probably not, who, there are people who have not watched a, a basketball game in their life. They know who Jordan is. And there are people who hate football. Want well, nothing to do with football. They know who Pele is. So he was football's first superstar. He was the first guy to popularize for football ball. So this is a, a massive loss. It is a huge loss, you know. And what see, whenever these things happen, what tends to happen is dialogue. Dialogue and footage. And then people start to be like, okay, oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Oh, do you know this? Did you know he, 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 he did this? And I'm going to shout out to my girl, Samasi, man. She sent us, you, you're going to know her in the, in, on the streets and in the live chat. Because people, you know, sending me DMs and everything. I think people send me the fans, but she sent me something. I think, and I saw this before, but I didn't watch the full video. So it's like, I think it's a video of Pele doing all of these different football moves. You know, the Cruyff turn, the double right, left shake, you know, overhead kick, chipping a keeper, putting the ball, doing a colo, ball through the guy's legs. And then Pele would do it. No, no, sorry. You'd show a Zidane do it. An R9 do it, a Messi do it, a Neymar do it, and then you'll see Pele doing it afterwards. But the issue is that Pele did it decades before they did it. And I was watching that, and I feel before I even came to this video, especially now with the dialogue of like, oh no, Messi is now the goods because he's, he's doing his thing. like, because we're gonna have a good discussion on Sunday. Like it's called it's called good talk, good talk on Sunday. But I think I said I got it. Because that's, that's, there are now three names now that are now in the official GOAT conversation. Because we see me and my, my brother during the Christmas break, we're actually having this whole discussion about Messi, you know, where does he land? We're having, having this whole stuff. But there's a GOAT combo that, that involves three guys now Pele, Maradona, Messi. And some me, and I will see, I'm going to push for Zidane. See, so, I'm gonna, so maybe maybe fourth, I may push for Zidane. But I think most of you guys will say it's three, but maybe you push Zidane then. But let's look at those three. And I said to myself that, what are your parameters? Choose your choose your goat parameter. Good the, the goat is Messi, the most consistent player of all time. Nobody has had that level of quality and, cons and consistency over such a long period of time, and he's won every major trophy. He's the goat. I'm out. Maradona is the goat. Nobody has ever, as an individual, taken an average team from here to here. His greatness is. I'm able to somehow inspire and influence an average to pretty good team into an amazing team. So that is what one man can do for an average team. What he did in 86, but specifically what he did in Napoli. Pele. Pele is the GOAT. I'm a pioneer. I was way ahead of my time. So, and for me, the only the old issue I always had with Pele is that... Oh, but look, these defenders are crap. Look, they don't know what they're doing. Like, wow, look at this. It's just too easy for him because the defenders are bad. Is it the defenders were bad? 
or the defenders were seeing someone do something for the very first time and they didn't know what to do. So his greatness was he was doing techniques and doing things that nobody of that time had ever seen before. So he was the very epitome of a prodigy, a pioneer, and a guy way above his, way ahead of his time. And I think maybe why so many people say, no, Pele was different was it was literally like he was in another galaxy. And I think it's a point that you employed Danny T made because we had a discussion about it. Because Danny T was like, no, maybe we should judge it of guys who are so far ahead of his time. And Pele was so far ahead of his time. So even for me, I am still on the Maradona trail, on the Maradona trail. But what will be interesting are the stories that will come out and the arguments that will come out, the footage that will come out of like, oh, no, no, this is why he is the, the ghost. And as I'm thinking about it right now, is it's an interesting thing because, again, it's about what are your parameters for greatness. And I think why people say it's going to be difficult to defeat Pele is because he did it first, is because he was such a maverick. So anything that anyone else does... People's arguments is, well, Pele did that before anyone else. Pele, he set the foundation of what it means to be a super amazing footballer. And he was so extraordinary all that time. Hence why I said, no, we've, no matter how good anyone else is, this is greatness. Because this is a guy that is inventing the game, reinventing the game, and inventing techniques that have now been used by all the greats, Messi, Zidane, Neymar, Ronaldo, Romario, Rivaldo, Dino, all these guys. So it's an interesting one, man. And it's, and it's, and it's a debate that we'll always have. And I think it is a, the GOAT debate, so here's my thing. Many people think that the GOAT debate is finished, but it's always going to be hard. And I think specifically with Pele's death, which is, again, it's very sad. It's very sad, but you know, it's his life. It's like we all have to go, unfortunately. It is, it is what it is. It's, 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 the, it's the reality of life. But I think with this death, that is going to be a huge loss for Brazil. Forget about Brazil losing to Croatia. You see, because, and I think even me and Dennis, we even talked about this. Pele, he was so important that he became a national treasure. <laughs> So he was so important for Brazil. He pretty much single-handedly put Brazil, the country, on the map based on just how much of a superstar he was at the time that he became a national treasure. And again, don't use the Europe thing against Pele. See, what you can use against Pele is it's two World Cups, not three, because he only played in 62. But again, he has three World Cup winners in my medals. <laughs> so, so it is what it is. But one thing you can't say against Pele is a whole Europe thing. Europe in the 60s were bricks. Europe in the 60s were class A. <laughs> so in the 60s, the best leagues were the South American leagues. So South American leagues used to lubricate and Lara Croft to European teams back in the 60s. So there was no point in Pele leaving South America when Europe was trash in the 60s. So you can't use that against him. Oh, he never played in Europe. No, Europe was trash in the, in the, in the 60s. But yeah, man, um, it's an interesting one, man. And... I'd love to hear what you guys say in the comments, as in especially with the death now of Pele and like and the death of Maradona. It's so it's funny how so close to together that is. And there's even a tweet where Pele says that when Maradona died, and um, Pele said that hopefully we can play, you know, some football in heaven and everything. And I think was is it like two? Is it, I think it's like two years. I think maybe a one year or two years apart. That's all of the deaths, but it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But football has lost an icon. Say what you want, football has lost an icon, a trendsetter, and a true grace.